Hello, what is up, everyone? My name is Kaito Nola, and yes, the another Genesis is coming, uh, which is going to be the shock drive. It's gonna be the first time that we're going to have a shock drive without shiny. So I know a lot of people are discouraged by it. Uh, the shock Genesis will have Zap Cannon, which is very, very unfortunate, but um, yeah, it's okay. But let's get this counter guy started. Let's talk about Mega Charizard Y because it is the top counter. So the damage 5, bulk 5, consistency 2, best move set is Fire Spin Blast Burn. If you have the, the regular Charizard with like the overheat and stuff, you're gonna have to use Elite Charge GM because it's a community day move, okay? Um, let's look at the de uh, defense right there. Mega Charizard is a flying fire. So yes, it's going to be weak to Zap Cannon. But Zap Cannon... Zap Cannon will hit pretty hard, uh, but it's also it's very slow. It's almost like that kind of like a Focus Blast Hyper Beam type of uh, damage window. So it's pretty uh, easy to dodge. So uh, I still recommend everybody to go in with the Mega Charizard Y, okay? And the Magnet Bomb is a single resistance and it's going to double resist X Scissor because that the fire resist uh, a bug and then also the flying resist bugs as well too. So yes. Mega Charizard Y, okay? And I know people have been there, done that. Uh, yes, you could solo Genesect in Sunny, and especially if you mix with a Mega Charizard Y and then like a bunch of uh, goodies, like that, some shadows and like restroom and stuff. Yes, you could duo, or uh, not duo, solo Mega Charizard Y, even with the shock drive. So if you never tried it, go ahead, have fun with it. Um, I'm probably not gonna make the solo guy this time, and I'm sorry, like, I'm still, like, raiding. Um, I'm not gonna make a solo guy, because it's basically, it's the same old, same old. Uh, I'm gonna get to, uh, Rishram and stuff like that, too, so. But, yes, Mega Charizard Y. But I am not going to say shut up and use Mega Charizard Y, which I am really want to say. It's pretty close, but let's look at the Mega Charizard X, okay? <sighs> The Mega Charizard X, which I don't like. Uh, the damage for bulk 5, consistency 4, best move set is Fire Spin, Blast Burn. So it's, it's the same thing. Um, this is why Mega Charizard X works this time. Uh, because he is part dragon, and yes, dragon resists electric. So he has a single resistance to Zap Cannon. And the Magnet Bomb, single resistance. And also the Exeter is a single resistance. So he does have a better defense overall when you compare that to uh, Mega Charizard Y. But like I said, Zap Cannon is really easy to dodge. So I still recommend everybody to go in with the Mega Charizard Y. I am not going to like say, oh no, you're using Mega Charizard X, so you, you're terrible. Like I'm not gonna say that. I'm probably not gonna shame people, but still use, use Mega Charizard Y. Like literally, duh. Uh, it's so easy to use. Um, it's the thing about the Mega Charizard X, it's like, Kai, do you like Mega Charizard Y or X? Which one's better? Why? Why? Because it's cool. Do you see this? This generation of the kids have been brainwashed by the Pokemon X and Y. Uh, if you ever watch the anime, the Alan, he had the, the Mega Charizard X. And he literally, he's gonna come fight with a Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Remember that Kai? And then the Mega Rayquaza too. Oh my god, that's just so wrong. Oh my god, no. So a lot of people have been brainwashed and they think the Mega Charizard X is better. But no, it's the Mega Charizard Y is better. Okay? Okay. And next up is Shadow Entei. So the damage for bulk 3, consistency for best move set is Fire Fang Overheat. Uh, Fire Fang is so good like oh my god i love fire fang uh and then the overheat is also good as well but it is a one bar charge move so just be careful with that uh you might have to dodge here and there to squeeze that overheat but shadow ente will work perfectly fine uh people often ask me flamethrower or overheat so double move your ente which is no brainer Double move your Entei and use the overheat, grind the overheat uh, DPS as much as possible. And towards the end, when you don't have a HP, that's when you want to spam the flamethrower, okay? That's like how pro uses Entei, okay? So let's look at the defense. The Zap Cannon is a neutral damage and the Magnet Bomb X is a single resistance. So yes, Shadow Entei will perfectly 
work as well. And you, the regular one is fine too. Like I said, Genesec this... It's a double weakness to fire. I should have said that in the beginning. I completely forgot. It's a steel bug, so yes. Hippo, double weakness. Yes, so double weakness to fire. So just use fire, nothing else. Just fire, fire, okay? And if you get sunny weather, good for you. It's just gonna be so easy. And I honestly, I love Genesex, so I'm, I'm very excited. And I need to get the shock drive hundo too, so. And let's look at the Reshram. Yeah, I love Reshram. Uh, this is the best top counter if you don't count Mega and Shadow. So I want you to know this, the Reshram is the boss. So the damage for bulk 5, consistency 5, best moveset is Fire Fang over here. Yes, he was blessed with the best fire move. So thank you. Thank you, Niantic, for that. Seriously, like I was so happy when Niantic didn't ruin Reshram. Oh my god. So let's look at the defense. Zap Cannon, single resistance due to the dragon typing. And the Magnet Bomb, X Scissor is a single resistance as well. So, um... There's only one person in the world, the CMWY, which is my friend, he's amazing. Uh, he has solo Genesect in Sunny without Mega Shadow, nothing, just straight up Reshiram. It is a crazy video, like, you just Google it or YouTube and you will find it. It's, it's like one of those, like, craziest thing ever, like, when he said that he wanted to do it, I knew he, he could do it. Like, I, I honestly thought he would probably be the only person that should be able to pull it off, and which he did, and I'm like, that was so crazy. I've been trying, I've wasted so much time, hours, um, and portions and revives, and I haven't been able to do that. It's just always so close, but it's just so difficult. But that's something that if you ever want to try that, go ahead. It's just straight up restaurant, that's all. With the Exeter in Sunny, okay? And let's look at the Mega Hound Doom. So the damage for bulk 2, consistency 5, best moveset is Fire Fang Flamethrower. <sighs> like, you should only bring Mega Charizard Y. Like, if you wanna use Mega, just use Charizard. But, if you are someone who doesn't raid much Mega and like, Oh no, I don't have energy, shame on you! But yes, Mega Hound Doom is kind of acceptable. Uh, so let's look at the defense. Zap Cannon, X Scissors, and Neutral Damage, and it's going to sing, uh, single resist the Magnet Bomb. So you compare that, the defense, to it's just how, you know, the Charizard and they, they all does battle. So, uh, yeah, I still prefer Mega Charizard X over Mega Houndoom, though, against Genesec, so. But it's still good enough to use, so. And let's look at the Shadow Ho-Oh. The damage 3, bulk 4, consistency 0. The best move set is Incinerate Fire Blast. Um... <sighs> the hidden power, right? When the first Ho-Oh came out, I went in so hard because I needed the fire hidden power uh, Ho-Oh. And I was able to get the 98% uh, fire hidden power and I was so happy. But now the Incinerate is here and yes, Incinerate is better than the fire hidden power. So rip my wallet. Uh, so let's look at the defense, because the Ho-Oh is a part of flying, so it's going to weak to Zap Cannon, uh, because the flying is weak to Electric, and the Magnet Bomb is a single weakness, and then the double resist X is just like uh, Mega Charizard Y. So Shadow Ho-Oh is okay. If you want to use it, yeah, sure, that's fine. Just make sure it has that the Incinerate Fire Blast, okay? I honestly like Fire Blast. It's very slow, it's annoying, but yeah. When, once you know how to control that fire blast, it's, it's so good. The D DPS is really good. So. And let's look at the Darmanitan. The damage 3, bulk 2, consistency 3, best move set is Fire Fang over here. Yay, the best move. Um, he is very glassy, okay? Um, like, look at, you could see from that portion, it's like, he is glassy. But he is one of those Pokemon that will hit super hard. So, um, Genesect doesn't take much time to take it down, like, it's, if you're gonna just raid with a bunch of people. So, you wanna do it? Go ahead. But like I said, if you're looking for, like, a heavy hitter and use the Mega Charizard Y, I did the, the, who has the strongest Mega Charizard Y contest last time i'll probably gonna host it again that was really funny like everybody just went in with a level 50 mega charizard y and see who's gonna get the heavy hitter that was really fun so i'm probably gonna do that so uh anyway so let's look at that defense so the zap cannon neutral damage and the magnet bomb x scissors single resistance like i said zap cannon will hit pretty hard so uh he's gonna get i'm not gonna say he's gonna get one shot but he's gonna get almost one shot by the zap cannon so yeah you need to watch out if you want to use them anytime okay 
And let's look at the Shandy. So the damage to revoke to consistency to best moveset is Fire Spin Overheat. Fire Spin is good enough to uh i will recommend the fire spin over incinerate okay so when it comes to fire quick move the order is fire fang fire spin then incinerate and then like embers and all that are like bleh, on the bottom so um like anytime like the, some of the starters those fires got ember it's just you know rip for them you know uh, that's what make them like really no metal fire so yeah anytime if you see the fire fang yes fire fang number one fire spin and then the incinerate so you follow the order okay and let's look at the defense the zap cannon is a neutral damage and a magnet bomb single resistance and double resist exitor so yes shandy is perfectly fine and let's look at it, Blaziken. Blaziken is pro it's probably my fur uh favorite fire starter for the all time. Like, no even count Charizard because I really like how Blaziken like the fighting. He's good as a fighting and he also good as a fire. So I just love him so much. So the damage three bulk to consistency three best moveset is fire spin blast burn. So make sure it has a blast burn, okay? Um so the defense, the zap cannon, neutral damage, it's going to single resist the magnet bomb and double resist X scissor. So yes, Blaziken is absolutely fine. And let's look at the Heatran. The damage 3 bulk for consistency for best moveset is Fire Spin Flamethrower. Heatran has been hated by so many people and I honestly feel sorry for him because he is actually a decent fire, okay? And it depends on what you're using up against. Uh, he is amazing. And it's this is also one of the cases because he is part steel. So against Genesex, also who is a steel, it works good. So you're probably going to see a lot of Heatran in a lobby this time. But it's perfectly okay as long as it has the right moves. Okay? So, so the, let's look at the defense. Zap cannon, neutral damage. And the magnet bomb, double resistance. And extra so a double resistance. So yes, uh, do not... Do not like point out fingers at the people who's using Heatran this time. I I accept. I approve. Ooh, let's look at these Shadow Salamans. The damage three, bulk one, consistency three, best move set is Fire Fang, Fire Blast. Uh, not a lot of people knows actually Salamans has a double double fire move. Uh, and then the, the what is it? The Hydro Pump, the Water as well too. Uh, so let's look at the defense. Zap Kino, Magnet Bomb, Neutral Damage, and X is a single resistance. Uh, <sighs> like if you really want to use Salamans, I'm okay with it. Um, but just just keep it as a double dragon. Like, why do you want to roll the moves just for this? Like, I don't get it. But if you want to flex your Shadow Salamans, then sure, whatever. Because I know someone that who's going to flex it. And let's look at the Moltres. The damage three, bulk three, consistency two, best move set is Fire Spin Overheat. He has the exact same typing as a Mega Charizard. Why? But uh, compared to that, like the firepower, it's just the, the Mega Charizard Y, you know? Uh, let's look at the defense Zap Cannon, single weakness, because yes, blinds weak to electric and the double, uh, magnet bomb, single resistance and double resist X scissors. So, yes, Motress is okay too. And let's look at the Shadow Moltres. So the damage 3, bulk 1, consistency 4, best moveset is Fire Spin Overheat. Uh, same defense, it's just much more uh, squishy, glassier type of Moltres. Uh, you want to use it? Absolutely fine. But Entei have more bulk this time. So I, if you really have to use either Shadow, like the, those Fire Legendaries, then I'll probably go in like Shadow Entei are probably going to be the top of the list. And then like, uh, yeah, like a Ho-Oh and then the Moltres. So. You know what's going to be crazy is the Shadow Reshiram though. That thing is just worth getting multiple of it, you know? And let's look at the best evolution, Flareon. So the damage 3, bulk 1, consistency 3, no, 4. Best move set is Fire Spin Overheat. I love Flareon. Oh my god, I think it's, it's the cutest evolution with this uh, mohawk hair and then the bushy tail. Oh my god, it's so cute. Um, it is probably the most affordable uh, uh, counter that you could get. So if you have the Flareon, yes, go ahead. Uh, so the defense... Zap get a neutral damage and the magnet bomb X scissors is a single resistance. Like I said, it's the most affordable fire counter for everyone, I believe. So yeah. It's fine. And it's cute too. So perfect. 
And let's look at the Victini. The damage to Bok to Consistency 5 best move set is Quick Attack V Create. You do not want to use the Confusion because it still resists uh, Psychic, okay? So the Quick Attack V Create. V Create is actually a really good fire move. Uh, so the defense, the Zap Cannon, Exit Zero, Neutral Damage, and the Magnet Bomb is a single resistance. So you don't really get to use many mythicals in raids. So uh, this time, definitely, like, if you have a Victini, you want to try using it, go ahead, have fun with it. I personally love it uh he's always a part of my unique fire squad and yeah i've used it as a psychic too but just make sure it has the quick attack v create like i said steel resist psychic you do not want to use confusion against it like let me check my my charizard i hope i have uh, enough energy for my charizard yeah i do i do good yeah, so if you haven't been raiding Mega Charizard, I'm sorry. Sorry for you. You're not gonna get heavy hitter. Right now we have the Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl is one of those Pokemon that I am going to say shut up and use Mega Aerodactyl in the future. So please raid that thing. At least get 2000 energies, okay? Because the Niantic did break the um, Mega Raid system, which is very unfortunate. Uh, it shouldn't be this way. I hate this system. Um, they could have handled it way better. I mean, at least if you get 2,000 energy, you should have been able to convert it to the, the Mega Stone or something, you know? It's just, it's it's so nasty the way they did, it. they did it. It's just, everything is locked behind the paywall, which I do not understand. It's, yeah. But anyway, so, yes, Mega Charas are why. I am not going to crucify people if, you know, if you use Mega Charizard X, it's okay. I just don't like it. Like, he looks like he's throwing up the oatmeals or something. Like, I just, I just don't find it attractive at all. And then at the same time, people have been brainwashed way too much and think that a Mega Charizard X is amazing. So, that annoys me. And please go ahead and check pokebattler.com slash raid and then you choose the raid boss, weather, uh, friendship level, moveset, and then you get to see so many more Pokemon. Like, I could have talked about, like, the Magmortars, Arcanines, and all that stuff, too. I just picked one of the, probably the most affordable and, like, something that probably I'll see in raid a lot. Because, you know, Genesect, you know, we all been there, done that, so. Hopefully you'll get the Hundo Shock uh, Shock Drive Genesect because that's what I'm going for. So I'm I'm very excited. So hopefully this guy will help and happy rating everybody. Bye.